people saying like they're scared their wig is gonna fall off your wig is not going anywhere i promise you <laughs> i promise you you guys already know that it's glueless. We are just gonna stick our comb all the way up. You wanna see how I got these gorgeous, gorgeous curls on a glueless wig for Christmas? And I mean completely 100% glueless, no glue, no spray, no nothing. Keep watching. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Keanu Murray and I'm back with another video. Now I know you guys haven't seen me in a bit. Your girl has been sick. I don't know what happened, but when I came home I got sick, but it's okay. We're finally back. Today we have a wig from the company Beauty Forever Hair. This is another glueless wig, a part of my glueless wig series. I actually styled this wig a few days after Christmas. These are all the goodies that came with the wig. A few pamphlets, some stickers, wig cap, you know, edge brush, not edge brush, but um the little tiny powder brush that was in there too. And then this is the actual wig. We have a 24 inch, 180% density, seven by five by by knot body wave. Now you guys do know I love the body wave wigs. I don't know how much body waves I've featured on this channel, but you have seen your fair share. This one does not have edges, so this is a little bit different than the ones that I usually do. Almost all the body waves I've done in the past that were glueless did have edges or came like that, but this one is just pre-bleached, and we're going to jump straight into it. This video is not going to be long, I promise. It is going to be actually very short because the install was not very long. Curling the hair took longer than putting the hair on my head. Now, this hair was very full. You know I love a full body wave, and this is the cap construction. Seven inches across, five inches going back, and it has that grip lining. If you're buying a glueless wig and you want to make sure the elastic band doesn't get stretched out, make sure you're buying one that has that lining. It actually helps my installs, but today I'm using my usual lace tint. And I'm going to spray that all over the lace. My bottle is running low. I don't know why. I put it in my Amazon storefront, which is going to be below. I don't know why I decided to put y'all on because ever since I have not been able to get that color. Like I'm glad that everybody is able to install their own wigs now but the color that I want is always sold out. So I don't know what to do. Like even you're going to have to send me some more. I put the wig on at first and it was too loose. So we are going to try that again. As you can see the lace tint did not fully dry. That was a mistake that I made. Um, a lot of people think that because I've been doing this for so long I don't make mistakes. I am impatient and sometimes I do not think and sometimes I genuinely forget what's work what works best like I was not thinking so yes I did make a mistake and I didn't tighten the wig band enough like I usually do I ended up being able to fix it and the fact that the lace tint wasn't dry what I like about this lace tint it is not messy so even if it's not dry your install will not be impacted by a million like you you could fix it real easy if you just wipe it off and this is me adjusting the back this one is big head friendly like my head was swimming in this no, I did adjust the wig band like a little bit, about like halfway, and that was good for me. And then I made another mistake. I went and I put a wax stick on the hair. Now, I don't know why I did that, because usually I don't like how the front looks when I do a wax stick. But I was able to fix it. I just like, you know, use the brush to kind of guide the hair so it doesn't get clumped up. Because for some reason, the wax stick kind of sits on there. I don't know if it's the wax stick I switched to recently. It sticks on the hair, and yeah, that's what happened. I'm not exactly sure what made me switch my wax stick. I think sometimes I just get up and I try stuff because I like trial and error, but this wax stick is a fail. I'm not going to mention the brand, but I did not like it. So we are using my hot comb and I'm just using that to shape the front of the hair. I kind of wanted to frame my face a little bit more because I am going to be trying wand curls today. I haven't done wand curls in about two years. I have been doing like the, you know, um, the barrel curls is what you would call them. That's what I've been doing recently and it's been working, but I kind of want a different look today. I don't know. The fullness of this hair really did inspire me to do something different to it, but I'm making sure that it's sleek. You see how, see how when I hot combed it, that wax stick actually held down. I just don't like how it looks when it goes on. But yeah, front of the hairline was really great and I'm taking my Fantasia heat protecting spray. Now I just need y'all to take a moment and look how the product absorbed into that hair. Let me replay it. Look how the product bounced up in this hair. Now that's what you call a body wave. If you put product in your body wave and it gets flat, I don't know what to tell you. Like this hair is very healthy as you can see from me just putting that product in. And then I'm wrapping it around the first few curls I did. I don't know what's been going on guys. I think it's because I was sick for two weeks and I did not do my hair during that two weeks. I think that like I forgot how to do hair. Because of what is this? What What is that? You, you can see the disappointment on my face. I was like what? 
I finally got the curl right. I did use a little bit of hairspray to kind of guide me. I don't know if that's cheating, but I got it right. And this is what one side looks like. Now, you guys can see that kind of like bouncy 2016 it girl with bundles type of look that I was going for. I don't know. I was just like, I was an it girl in 2016. Because I feel like this look would have ate down. Look at those curls. Look at how beautiful they are. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. This is literally the finished product. I told y'all this video was not going to take long. But we got like three minutes. And that's the part where I sit at the camera. And I really break down the hair for those who want to, you know. For those who want to listen. Now, I'd never tried a uh, Bye Bye Not Wig from Beauty Forever. This is my first. And I'm super satisfied. So, yeah, we about to break down the hair. And right now it's January 3rd. Like, I filmed this while I still did have a cold. So if I sound stuffy, please do not, don't comment about it. Because I know my voice sounds a little bit messed up. I was still stuffy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's been going around. I think it's like a new cold or whatever. Because everybody I know has the same symptoms. But yeah, it tore me up. But I'm about to get into the hair. And I'm about to show y'all this wig is glueless. I have not done my little comb and whatever trick it is that I've been doing. Yeah. Look how far that comb went up, so you know it's no glue, none at all, don't play with me. When I say glueless, I really mean glueless. I'm not gonna use spray and then cheat, I feel like that's cheating. Let's give it up for the first Bye Bye Not unit that I have tried by Beauty Forever on this channel. I've done many Bye Bye Not units, but I've never tried one from this company. This is my first time trying a Bye Bye Not unit by Beauty Forever on this channel. One thing that I will say that has stood out to me compared to all of the Bye Bye Not wigs that I have bought, this one is full like when i say this one is full i decided to do one curls because i wanted a i don't know kind of like a 2014 2015 you know the girls got fresh bundles everything is nice you guys already know that it's glueless we are just gonna stick our comb all the way up it is a seven by five meaning that it goes seven inches across and five inches going back it's 180 percent density natural black color and this is gorgeous it comes pre-plucked pre-bleached like the lace is already pre-cut all you have to do is just basically style it the way that i did i only use lace tint and a little bit of powder like um the bronzer that i use on my forehead because that's what matches me best you want to make sure that you don't cake up too much product on the bye bye not wigs you really don't need that much especially since you're not gluing it down you just want it to sit on the skin without any excess build up none of that now this wig is super easy to put on it's beginner friendly it's glueless and it's affordable what more could you ask for the one that I got is 24 inches, definitely true to length. I can stretch it all the way out there. These curls look great. It can hold a curl. I will say that because I didn't even have to curl it for that long. And I did my whole head. I haven't done wand curls in like years, but this look is, I don't know, chef's kiss. One of the concerns that I tried to address in all my glue wig videos is people saying like they're scared their wig is going to fall off. Your wig is not going anywhere. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, your wig is not going anywhere. See how it didn't even move on my head? It is still in the same place. And if you want to move it, you can move it. This wig is definitely big head friendly. If you want to take it up and do whatever you want with it, but it's not going to just fall off your head. That grip lining and the elastic band that I showed you guys in the beginning, that is what makes sure that the wig stays on your head. And you can adjust it to whatever size you need. And since it's big head friendly for the big head girls, you could get this. Small head girlies like myself, you can adjust this and get this. It's for everybody. If you guys want to check out more from Beauty Forever hair, as well as look at their other Bye Bye Not wigs because they have an entire collection, make sure you like, subscribe, and go check out the description box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.